Samantha Kolari beat her policeman father at his own game. I just don't know how we went from you being a hero to hurting me and affecting well, every aspect don't. of my life. You, you didn't. You didn't do anything to that. It was my poor decisions that did that. Trapping him into confessing two years of sexual abuse that began when she was just 10. I think he was really shocked. They pulled him over in his car uh, at a traffic stop. He was arrested. He was arrested. On the spot. On the spot. But the once revered lawman faces decades locked in a cell, just like the deviants he once spent his 23-year career arresting. What did you think on the day Sean was arrested? Um, I was concerned more about her than about him. I felt for her, um, I can't imagine how, how, where she was in her head at that moment. It must have been so difficult. No daughter ever wants to imagine possibly putting her father in prison for the rest of his life. But Jackman saved himself from a life in prison. As to count 10 in the indictment, sodomy in the third degree, how do you plead, not guilty or guilty? Guilty. He cut a deal, pleading guilty to 12 counts, including sodomy, incest, sexual abuse, and wanton endangerment. As to count three in the indictment, incest, how do you plead, not guilty or guilty? Guilty. He's a bad guy, and he's, he's going to serve some time in prison for this. Just before sentencing day, Crime Watch Daily confronted Jackman about the charges. I've been waiting, you know, a little while for this, and I'm do you have anything to say, no. like, and to Samantha? Again. Thank you. Any apologies? Oh, okay. Anything? Anything about your career or anything about what you did? Nothing? All right. He didn't answer us, but he will answer to the judge. I'm a little nervous, to be honest. Um, a lot of emotions. I was with Greg and Samantha as they prepared to hear her father's fate. Is there any message here today? that um, there's never a winner in this. I'm still losing my father. I've lost half my family. Um, I've suffered, you know, my whole childhood and I'm continuing to suffer. There's no peace in this. And you may make a statement today in the courtroom. Yes. But you're not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. All right, I have that we're on today for final sentencing, is that right? Yes, sir. It was her father's day of reckoning, and if Samantha had a message for him, it was now or never. Is there anyone that wishes to speak at uh, sentencing? It was a painful choice for Samantha. Her father sat stoically and emotionless in the defendant's chair. His family, who once professed their undying love for Samantha, had now turned their backs on her. Can I get your name, please? Samantha Kalari. But Samantha would not be denied, and in a profound statement to the court, she boldly recounted one of the most revolting aspects of sexual abuse, one that few truly understand. No matter how hard I tried, I could never do anything to please him. The only time I got positive attention from dad at all was when he'd take me into his bed that night after my brother and sister were asleep. After he was done with me, He'd take me into the shower and clean me off and then send me to bed. But in the morning, I always knew he'd be cold towards me again and he'd stay away until the next time that I'd follow him into his bedroom. Samantha's final words were perhaps the most heart-wrenching of all. At 26 and a mother of three stepchildren, she is still a frightened child at the hands of her own father. If I had to say one thing, if. I had one thing I could say to Sean right now. It's that I love you and I hate you. And despite everything you've done to me, all I want is for my dad to take me into his arms and make this all go away. Samantha Kalari remains in a state of emotional conflict. There will be no resolve. You were someone who I would never have imagined to see uh, commit something uh, like you did commit. And what comes next only added insult to injury. The court will sentence the defendant as follows for a total of 15 years to serve. As you heard from the Commonwealth, the defendant is not eligible for probation. 
just 15 years. Yet another dizzying blow for Samantha and Greg. I don't believe 15 years is reasonable. He was originally facing somewhere around 200 years for these for these crimes, and then it gets watered down down to to, to 15. Yeah. In fact, Jackman's original indictment charged him with two counts of first-degree sodomy, a Class A felony, 20 to 50 years to life. But as part of Jackman's plea deal, those two counts were reduced to wanton endangerment, sparing Jackman from a life in prison. How much time will he serve? Well, he's eligible for parole after he serves 20% of that sentence. However, that being said, he has to complete the sex offender treatment program. 20% of 15 years seems like a simple prison pit stop before the former cop gets his freedom back, but his daughter is locked in a psychological prison for life. And there's more fallout. The abuse has caused serious intimacy issues in her marriage to Greg and a great uncomfortableness when their small children bathe or are otherwise undressed. We get through it, but there's obvious, um, there's issues. But like Greg told me, he's in it for the long haul. You've really been the brightest light for her in all of this. I think she gives me more credit than, than is due. Um, she's a very, very strong, strong woman. What would you say to someone out there who's being victimized and who hasn't had the courage to come forward yet? It is important to come forward and it is important to use your voice and stand up against these people because there will be no justice and no end of this cycle if we don't stand up and make a change. It has to come from us. As part of his sentence, Jackman will also undergo sex offender treatment while in prison. He's eligible for parole in just three years. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.